Bon Frez, ABS, traction control, stability control. Uh, in the FJ, you can actually turn it off. Now, why would you do that? Only situation that I've done it is when the traction control or stability control is affecting my momentum. So what I mean by that is a classic example would be Big Red in the uh, Simpson Desert. That's a very steep, long dune. If you've got your traction control on and you want to maintain that momentum, what will happen is the traction control will kick in when you start to lose traction, as it should. Then what will happen is you'll lose momentum. Losing momentum, then what will happen is you'll get bogged. So what I do is I turn it off and I'll show you the process in the car exactly how to turn it off. Obviously before you're turning something like a stability control off, which is, you know, it is a safety device within your vehicle, read your owner's manual, read the precautions and warnings. Uh, it's not something I'm recommending, it's just an, another tool I suppose or process that you can use when you're in an off-road environment and you're losing traction and your traction control is limiting your momentum. Here's an example on Big Red. A lot of whoops here, so you can't get you know, virtually no run up. Once I clear these whoops or the big bumps, then I start to feed the power in. Have a listen to the motor, be able to hear exactly how much power I'm feeding into it. button is that one on the top right with the car doing the skid and the off. What you do is you press it and hold it in and what that will do is turn the traction control. I've got to hold it in for about three seconds and I'll show you what that looks like on the dash. So on the dash press it once, hold it in, three seconds, traction control off. It'll also work in low range like that. Someone in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that traction control button up the top with your crawl control, etc., on the 2013 plus models in Australia? Also, just to turn it off, all you need to do is press the button again and it goes completely off. Or if you want to turn it back on, it'll come on like that. When you turn the car off, the traction control has an automatic setting to turn itself off. So, vehicle off. Start it again. All goes off again, so it resets itself. So if you need to get back and turn the traction control off again, you have to press and hold the button again. So there you have it. That's how you turn the traction control off for really slippery, muddy conditions. Don't confuse that with the A-Track. Uh, A-Track is a completely different system. A-Track will work similarly in the respect that it moves the drive around to the wheels. So if you're actually bogged and you're stuck, that's when I would engage A-Track. So I hope that helps someone out. If you've got any questions, by all means, stick them in the comments below. And yeah, catch you on the next one.